all right so um the next topic that we want to discuss is approval cascading approval by authority matrix <clears throat> Well, before we learn how do we configure authority matrix, there are certain things you need to understand. The first thing is that you need to create a decision table. Now, this is a rule type in Pega. Okay. So, decision table rule is what you need to configure in order to, based on certain condition, get who should be approving the case. Okay you will be giving that operator or at a retrieving or basically determining who should approve based on certain condition using decision table decision table is something like this condition one condition two condition three as many as you want okay you can add and then the result so this is how it happens if you have some value for every row this is row number one basically let's say that first we say that salary condition one is about salary okay let's say that condition one is salary or maybe condition one is new or old employee new or old customer okay and condition two let's say is about um, salary okay let's forget about condition three let's just do with two conditions at the moment so when we say that if it is new customer and then the salary is less than or yeah less than five thousand less than or equal to five thousand Less than or equal to 5000, then it should be approved by reviewer 1. If it is old customer and salary is less than or equal to 10,000, then reviewer 2. Then if it is, uh, if salary is greater than, uh, greater than or basically less than 20,000 sorry let's say greater than actually greater than 20,000 this is all greater than this is also greater than. greater than 20,000 then doesn't matter new or old so you will not specify that condition then it should be reviewer 3 all right so if you leave any condition row blank that will be ignored it's not like that it is going to check that uh, new customer should be blank no it's new or old doesn't really matter it will be ignored similarly with the salary as well right and then ultimately we have otherwise row when nothing is true then what should be maybe manager one right so this is how we develop a when uh, uh, basically this is how we develop a decision table in pair remember in the result we because we want to do approval and we will do an assignment to an operator so these should be operators and if there are more than one row true we have the provision to add those in the list and ask for approval from everyone so when we are doing that we need to when you, we are evaluating this um, decision table we need to hold the result of this decision table into some properties somewhere and there is going to be list of result right list of result more than one might be approving the case so you need a page list property why page list property because see these are operators the operators are object right and uh, basically the class definition out of the box class definition of operator is um, admin uh, data admin operator id so we need to hold those object every operator is an object it's a page basically if you go on a clipboard when you are logged in by default you will see 
basically under the system pages you will see an operator page operator id page see the class data admin operator id and it talks about your operator id the current operator id who has logged in so it's a page list it's a page maybe every operator is an object and that should be stored in a page and since we have multiple operators so it is going to be a page list when it is going to be a page list uh, <clears throat> we need to identify which property of this page has the operator id it's py user identifier Mm, py user identifier that's where the operator id resides so the first thing that we need to do is create a page list property to hold the result of the decision table and that should be of let me create that so in this case i'm going to create a property page list and the name is going to be one second just one minute guys all right so i'm going to create a prover list okay a property create an open remember this is going to use multiple pages so it's going to be page list and every page is going to be operator id and the class definition for operator id is data admin operator id that's the class definition for operator id and on this class we have py user identifier that's where the operator id or basically the uh, login id the user id of the operator should be stored <clears throat> so that's one thing that's the first configuration we did now we have a page list to store the list of operator who will be uh, ultimately approving the case the next thing that we need to do is um, if you go here and in the um, in the approval shape if i change it to cascading is okay uh, 30 matrix see decision table so let me create a decision table here as well decision table is from the category um, decision under decision you will see decision table i will name it as determine approvers okay this is a new rule type that we are learning all right so see the condition and action first of all go to the result tab and say evaluate all rows by default behavior is when the first row is true it ignores everything else but no we want multiple level of uh, basically maybe more than one row could be true and i want the result from every row so go to the results tab and say evaluate all row now come back condition for the condition click in the middle of first row and first column and on the left hand side you see insert column after on the header right let me add i will have two condition the first condition click on the header of the condition the first condition is going to be new or old okay so new cust and the operation is equal to so we will say if it is new cust yes put it into double quotes outputted values then salary i'm going to use next one is as employment dot annual salary and this i'm going to say greater than or equal to right salary is greater than or equal to if it is new customer and doesn't matter what the salary is then i will say okay the approver is going to be r1 r1 is going to be the approver okay put it into double quotes as well so r1 is up you can drag it to expand it so r1 is your approver 
doesn't matter what the salary is if it is new customer add another row just click anywhere and then add row insert row after again when uh, doesn't matter new customer or old customer if salary is uh, annual salary is greater than or equal to 20,000 then it should be R2 who should approve if let's add one more if it is old customer and salary is greater than 5000 sorry old means new no answer of this value new cost is no then it should be r3 who should be approving otherwise uh, my operator will be approving it okay right so let's say no so these are the operators now we need to put that into the page list this is the page list we created under the this page list there will be a property uh, basically called py user identifier that's where we need to store it right the result but it is a page list not a page so we will first specify the page list property which is approval list for every result we will append a page into this page list please pay attention here for every row for every result that comes out of decision table we will have to append so there is a keyword append that you will have to put under bracket and under less than greater than sign so we are going to append a new page for every result this will create one more page in the page list and on that we have py user identifier property so the value that will be coming is going to be stored on a new page under the py user identifier property that's where we are going to put these values when evaluating the when uh, this decision table okay let's save it so if two rows are true it will be there will be two properties in the approval list two pages and those corresponding values will have uh, basically py user identifier will have those two values i mean one one page will have one value only but two pages with two values okay now let's go back to the cc application Select your decision table. We created determine approval. The page list property name is approval list. And under the approval list, we have py user identifier. That's the property where the username will be. py user identifier. Now this is complete. Right, determine approvals. This is the decision table. This is the page property, page list property, and this is going to be the py user identifier on every page. This property will hold the value of one of these options or more of more one. Basically, for every page, there will be one property set value. Okay, let's save it. Now let's test this out. So I'm going to create a case, a new case. And I'm going to say a customer type new. So new customer, yes. Go ahead. And I'm going to put 30,000 as the annual salary. 30,000. 30,000 with new customer. What will be the value? So it is new customer. Yes, this will be true for sure. So R1 will approve for sure. Then second row greater than equal to 20,000. This is true as well. So R2 will also approve R1 and R2. It's new customer. No, no. Our, our case it is yes. So this will be not true. Otherwise it will not go. If there is one of the row evaluated true under when it will not go otherwise. So R1 and R2 should be approving the case. Let's submit this. So the first one is R1. 
so this is for uh, basically complex business logic when we dynamically want to determine how many and who should approve that's when we use uh, authority matrix approve with r1 it goes to r2 approve with r2 right done now let's create one with no okay with no as answer to new customer no and salary is going to be annual salary is 1000 now this time it's 1000 annual salary 1000 remember this yes is not true of course when 20000 greater not true no but yeah it is true but we have 1000 which is less than 5000 so this is also not true so it will go to otherwise and approval will be sought with mahesh right see that's who it is assigned for approval right then let me create another case again i'm gonna select no and i'm gonna select 10,000 as or 11,000 as annual salary so no 11,000 this is not true this is not true either this is true so it will be r3 only one level of approval see r3 so this is very very simply put this is the authority matrix very simple to execute um, basically you just have to understand what are the things you need to configure you need to configure a decision table you need to configure a page list property and this page list property will be holding the result And that's how this is what Vega will use at the runtime to route the case or to send the approval to that individual user reading this property. And that's where we conclude this session of uh, cascading approval using authority matrix.